The ultimate STEM challenge is having the confidence to be able to apply your STEM skills to any challenge in the world around you. It's to ask where's the science in that and to know how to go about solving those challenges. My earliest memories are being in the garden and looking at the soil and stones and finding insects and wondering what they were and plants and trees and just being intrigued by the natural environment around me. Interestingly, none of my other friends went to do any sciences or, or maths at school, but my parents were really, really keen for me to study what I enjoyed and very, very supportive. The reason why my career is built around my love of science is down to two people. Mr York and Mr Clark were the first teachers who really made me see that science wasn't just a collection of facts and figures, it was a process. It was something that I could grow up and contribute to and that, that got me really excited. Well, we get asked to do lots of competitions and tasks for schools and we say no to most of them because we only want to do things which actually are very high quality but also where there's some research attached. Uh, we know from research that 70% of young people like science and maths but only 17% of them think it's for them. Recent research has shown that we need 87,000 more engineers per year out to 2020 to fill the skills gap that we have. This is fundamentally about how young people see themselves and so what we're trying to do with competitions like the Ultimate STEM Challenge is to give young people more opportunities to see themselves as scientists and engineers and therefore be more likely to choose STEM careers in the future.